The National Endowment for the Arts and the Poetry Foundation have partnered with U.S. state agencies to support Poetry Out Loud, a contest that encourages the nation's youth to learn about great poetry through memorization and recitation. This program helps students master public speaking skills, build confidence, and learn about their literary heritage. Poetry Out Loud was launched in high schools nationwide in the spring of 2006 and has grown to involve students at Auburn High School. Poetry Out Loud uses a pyramid structure that starts at the classroom level. Winners advance to a school-wide competition, then go to a regional or state competition, and ultimately to the national finals. Winners at the state level receive a $200 and a $500 stipend to purchase poetry books. A total of $50,000 in awards and school stipends is awarded annually at the national finals. In 2011, Yusuf Biaz, an Auburn High School student, was named champion of the Poetry Recitation Contest. He received a reward of $20,000 as well as a $500 stipend for AHS. He was even invited to a celebration of poetry at the White House attended by Barack Obama. The Death of Allegory by Billy Collins. I'm wondering what became of all those tall abstractions that used to pose, robed in statuesque, in paintings, and parade about on the pages of the Renaissance. Let's give them all a big hand. Thank you so much tonight for coming out. I heard about Poetry Out Loud actually my sophomore year. I competed and it was just a really great experience and I wasn't able to do it my junior year but I'm a senior now and so you know I really wanted to just kind of take advantage of this opportunity and try it one more time and so it was a really fun experience. You know, before the competition you always need to just like practice in front of the mirror, practice in front of your family, your friends. So once you actually get to the competition, it's a lot easier. Um, I did kind of step out of my comfort zone, but it was a really good experience. It was really fun. It's not as scary as you might think, because you can't even see the audience when you're speaking. So it's really improved my knowledge of poetry, too, just kind of looking through all the different types of poetry. And, you know, there's pre-19th century poetry. There's poetry under 25 lines. So you have a lot of options there to sort of look through. Poetry Out Loud really helped me learn how to put emotion behind what I'm trying to convey. And it taught me the importance of connecting with your audience. Um, no matter what you're trying to get across, it's really important that you make connections with them and make sure that they know what you're trying to get across, not just the words that you're saying. Poetry Out Loud really broadened uh, my knowledge of poetry. Um, before I did it, I really didn't have any knowledge of modern poetry whatsoever, um, but it really introduced me to a lot of good poetry that I'm really glad I found, um, like Sharon Olds and Margaret Atwood and stuff that I never would have found if it weren't for the program. It was a really good experience um, as a whole. Um, it was not only really fun to recite my own poem, but it was really fun to hear everybody else recite theirs and to see everybody else's poem choices and um, how they chose to perform it. Um, Mr. Thompson really helped me um, figure out what the poet was trying to say and really helped me to understand that a poem isn't just about the words on the paper, but it's a lot about the delivery too. Um, poetry Out Loud might not seem like something that a lot of students would be interested in, but um, I think it is a program with a lot of benefits for students. Um, at nationals, they like to say that to memorize a poem is to make a friend for life. Um, you change, and the poem really doesn't, but your way of understanding it does, and it sort of sticks with you and becomes a part of your personality. Um, they're also beautiful to memorize, if, if that weren't reason enough. It also teaches students um, stage presence, confidence. Um, they also have to think very hard about what the poem means. They have to have a good understanding of it, so I think they become better communicators, better readers, better performers, more confident in public speaking, which is like the number one fear uh, um, in American society. Um, and they get to hang out with beautiful words in, beautiful, in, in the best order possible. So um, I think it's a wonderful contest for all students to participate in who are interested in poetry and things that are beautifully said. Um, we have two uh, champions here, Amina Narayanan and Elizabeth Balch Crystal. Um, Mina's competing in Poetry Out Loud, which is a national contest, and Mina has memorized three different poems by three published poets, and she will recite all three of them in an attempt to become our regional champ 
and then compete to be the state champ of Alabama. Elizabeth Balch Crystal has written poetry of her own. She's written two poems. One of them is about her mother, another one is titled Ambiguity, and she'll be reciting both of those, competing against other students who wrote their own poetry. Um, if she wins at regionals, then both Elizabeth and Mina will compete at state, which occurs at the Alabama Shakespeare Festival. Um, if Mina wins the state of Alabama and becomes the Poetry Out Loud champion, then Mina will get a trip to Washington, D.C. and compete against all the other 50 state champions. Um, Elizabeth's uh, will be the state champion of Alabama, um, but it's only a state contest, so it ends there. Um, but Al uh, Auburn High School in the past has won both these contests. We've won state champion, and we've won um, in both categories. So we'd like to see that happen again. Uh, Poetry Out Loud is a really great experience. Uh, Mr. Thompson helped me a lot just with my speaking skills and with really understanding the poem. So you can go on the Poetry Out Loud website, and they have hundreds of poems that you can flip through and I spent you know a good amount of time just reading through all the different poems and looking at all the different authors. I think for anyone you know people who are really comfortable with speaking in front of large groups of people and they're comfortable with being on stage or you know people who are kind of a little bit shy and it's sort of out of their com comfort zone. It's a great experience for both of those kinds of people. The sheet began um, 11 years ago with a student named Mike Ryan who came up with the idea of having a one-page, black-and-white, double-sided literary fanzine in which students could submit poems, jottings, epigrams, doodles, anything that they could think of, and that we would publish based on a theme roughly about once a month. So for 11 years, um, a group of select students who just come to the sheet meetings and like creative stuff. Um, have helped create the sheet. At the end of every month, after the sh about a week after the sheet comes out, uh, we get together and we decide what the theme for the sheet is going to be and we, and we decide who's going to do what. Now, because the sheet is a lot of artistic stuff, we usually have an artist or two do designs and make art. So for the submissions, we ask that people either write poems relating to the theme of the month or they submit drawings relating to the theme of the month. and. After about three weeks of the submission process, the editors-in-chief get together and we take all the submissions, we type them up, and we email them out to everyone to read without the author name and without a title, to read and vote on. And then we give them a voting slip and they write down their top ten poems and we collect all those together, count the votes, and the ones that have the highest votes get put on the sheet. So after we decide which poems go on the sheet, we take all the poems, we add the t titles and the authors, and we condense them a little bit, maybe change the font a little bit, and then we print them out and we cut them out, and we edit the art and then print that out and cut that out, and we basically tape things together like a collage on a piece of paper. And that takes a while, and then usually I will do like extra drawing around the sheet because sometimes there are blank spaces and we want those to be filled. So after that, we make a copy, and we give it to Mr. Thompson, and he makes, you know, maybe 500 copies and distributes them to the school. So it's really a lot of team effort, like, um, you know, it wouldn't be possible without everyone submitting poetry and everyone voting. Uh, Ian and I just happen to be the ones who put everything together. The sheet is something that's been pretty integral to my experience here. Um, I think with the sheet, you know, there's not too much you can do to make it a lot better because at its core it's just creativity. It's creativity and fun and people getting together to put together something that, you know, maybe some, some other school wouldn't have. I, I think if any of my colleges had a program like that, I'd, I'd join because it's, it's fun, it's collaborative and it's not, you know, super stressful and you get together with people that you like and you do something that most people have probably by now forgotten because poetry is something I think that is a little bit underrated in society today. So far this year we've had issue one which is always a random collection of anything that people submit. Our second issue was fear and our third issue um, is home. The upcoming issue of the sheet that's most exciting and is a big hit every year and is often a double issue is the love issue. So if you are interested in drawing 
doodles or writing love poems. We get those all published on February 14th. Um, for 11 years, we've never missed a Valentine's Day, and we love to pass that out, usually on pink paper, to celebrate love at Auburn High School. Well, how students participate in the sheet is first by writing and drawing things and submitting them to the sheet monster, which is this little purple box behind me that you feed, um, and you submit your work. The next step is, um, of course, we vote on the things that are submitted to see which is the best, and only those things get published. Although our mottos are to publish as much as possible and as much variety as possible, so you have pretty good chances. The sheet is wonderful for students who want to create something, who want to do something that's real and live and happening every month, um, and someone who just generally wants to celebrate the creative arts. Um, so it's a lot of fun and I hope that more students will be involved in submitting, drawing their doodles, and voting on the sheet.